Excerpts from page 20 of The Crown of Sanctity on the Revelations of Jesus to Luisa Picaretta by Daniel O'Connor. At long last, the time has arrived when God wishes to give us his own will. The gift that contains every imaginable gift, the true crown and completion of all sanctity, both in heaven and on earth. This gift entails not only the grace to do God's will perfectly, but also the total submersion of your human will within his divine will, so that this divine will becomes the life principle of your soul, even as your soul is the life principle of your flesh. God wishes to give this gift not only to you, but to the whole world. Pray unceasingly, therefore, for the coming of the kingdom of the divine will, so that God's original design for the world and for mankind will once again and even more perfectly be realized. Pray with the joy and confidence that comes from knowing that the arrival of this reign is a certainty, for it is nothing other than the full realization of the fiat voluntas tua of the Lord's Prayer, which Jesus himself prayed and thus shall be fulfilled. Its arrival is only a question of time, and you are now invited to hasten its coming. You cannot earn this gift or merit it. You can only allow God to give it to you. And in exchange for his divine will, he asks only for your loving and trusting relinquishment of the tiny pebble of your own human will. In this gift is all love, invincible joy, and perfect peace. In it is absolute assurance of salvation and total deliverance from purgatory. In it is God's infinite pleasure. In it is the complete victory of every noble mission in one simple principle. In it is the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary promised at Fatima. In it is the culmination of deification, the fruitfulness of mystical marriage, the aspiration of the unification of wills, and the essence of Marian consecration. In this gift alone is the full realization of man's creation in the image and likeness of God. Simply pray with sincerity. Jesus. I trust in you. Thy will be done. I give you my will. Please give me your will in return. If you strive to converse with him continually in this attitude, be assured that he has given you his will. The journey is not yet over, but the victory already rings in your every step. Entrust yourself completely to Our Lady, who lived more perfectly in the divine will than any other creature ever has or ever will. Trust her, and she, who loves you, her dear child, will strive to ensure that you live in the will of her son. Especially let her sorrows and the passion of her son be always before your mind. Finally, Rejoice always in the invincible and continuous peace that will inevitably inundate your soul.